Here we are in front of this 1,440 square foot detached garage located in Peoria, Arizona. This shop is full of features and amenities specifically for wake boats. This is built on a 1.25 acre lot with fun amenities filled throughout the backyard, like an Olympic style in-ground trampoline or a basketball court, along with this pool and hot tub setup that is beautiful. This facility is a quick 30 minute drive from Lake Pleasant. This is a steel constructed building with all materials supplied from Gable Steel Company. The interesting thing about Gable Steel Company is on the outside, the sheet metal typically runs vertical. Instead, they rotate it 90 degrees, which has a different look to it. It makes it look a little bit more like shiplap instead of looking just like an old barn. I really like the design of this. Plus it makes it easy to add features to this. One of the main things I really like about this boat garage is there's nothing built in front of it. So you don't have to snake a boat trailer around anything. It's easy access to get the boat in or to get the boat out of the garage. As an avid boat user, this just makes it easier and one less obstacle that stands between me and getting out to the lake. This garage door is huge. It's 13 feet tall by 18 feet wide, which makes it easy to get many different types of toys in this boat garage or this shop. One of the things I really like about this shop is the paver section right out front here. This makes it so that you can fit a full-size truck on the pavers. The thing about this is in Arizona, typically on a land like this in acreage, it's usually dirt all the way up to a shop. So this having just a nice parking spot to have maybe one of your friends or family members park here makes it convenient and nice and has more of a high-end feel to it. A building similar to this in today's economy would cost anywhere from sixty dollars to $90,000 to have the material supplied to you installed and some of the electrical work done. I really do love how this building turned out from a look standpoint. They didn't want it to match the house exactly because of course this is a steel constructed building. So the material they used actually looks really nice. You can tell that it's significantly different than the house but it does have matching pieces to it. Here's this brown man door that we can go through. Let's go inside and check out some of the features from the inside. One of the things I really like about this really big garage door is the fact that they used a side mount garage door opener. So it's mounted on the side of the garage door, which means there isn't any clearance issues for this 13 foot garage door. That's important because as wake boats continually get bigger and bigger and bigger, you're never gonna have to worry about any clearance issues with this garage door because it has a side mount garage door option. The other thing I really like that they did up here at the front of the boat is they have some storage features just for things that maybe aren't used all the time when you're out here on the boat, like this life jacket rack or these storage racks right down here to store things like fenders or tubes or maybe just some items that you don't always take to the lake with you, but you want convenient access to them right here. They also thought about the electrical needs of this shop and they wired in a 220 electrical system right here, which is good for welders or maybe other shop machines like CNC machines. Also the convenience of charging an electrical vehicle, which the owner of this shop, they charge their electrical vehicle right here. Or if you wanted RV hookups, all the electrical is done right here. Speaking of some of the electrical stuff, the other thing that they have over here is they have electrical ran throughout this entire building. You don't have to run extension cords anywhere you go. From a lighting standpoint, they actually have the lighting split between a six LED light section in the front and a three LED light section in the back. So you can independently control the light from the back or the front. They also have an LED spotlight wired out front for some of those late nights when you're getting back from the lake really late, or maybe you're taking an early morning set. It's really nice to have the light there to help you hook up or detach the boat. The other really cool and fun feature they have right here with the lights is they have LED Christmas lights all around the outside of this building. You can change the LED lights to have a Christmas theme or a Valentine's theme, or maybe a 4th of July theme. It just makes it really fun and makes this building just that much better. The next thing I really like about this shop is they have this nice, they have this nice workbench right here to work on maybe small projects for home, maybe gifts for somebody for their birthday or Christmas. It's just a nice place to organize some of your tools and have some workspace when you need it. But this whole shop is home to this glorious Nautique G23. 
This one is designed with the reef blue and white color scheme, which reminds me of that original Nautique G23 that they came out with about a decade ago. This whole shop is 60 feet long by 24 feet wide, which means that you can have multiple boats in here if you need to, or a car, or a four-wheeler, or any other toys you have, you can have right here in this shop. Especially with the boat offset to one side, you might think, why don't you put it right down the center? No, you have it offset to the side because of some of the features they have built in to this framing right here. They have board racks and they have life jacket racks all right here. So every time you get done, you can just transfer your boards out of, out of the boat and put them here. If you're not gonna take that board for that session, you don't have to take it out of the boat, it's already out of the boat. The other thing I really like is these life jacket hangers. These are made so you can drip dry your life jackets right here instead of in the boat. If it's in the boat, then it's dripping all over your upholstery or in the interior of the boat, that's not good. Here you can just set up your life jackets to drip dry right here. This whole shop is built from the back to the front so that it slopes down one foot. So all of the water will actually rush out. They can power wash their boat right here. They can run their boat right here, do oil changes all right here with the convenience of having all of that water run to the front of the building. It's also wired back here in this shop for a washing machine and a dryer. One of the things that would be a struggle is taking out all of the wet swimwear and also your towels from in the boat and having to haul them into the house. Instead, they have a washing machine and a dryer right here specifically for all of those swim materials. You have all of that stuff right here. They also have a hose bib right here. They're able to hook up and power wash the boat if they want to or run the boat on this hose. Um, they have a sink wired here and because they have a sink and a washing machine, they have hot water if you want it or cold water, either one. Along with that, they might as well put in a drinking fountain, which they did. They already have water here. One addition I might make to this specific area would maybe be a refrigerator or a freezer. So then they could put all of their drinks for their boating outings and even ice. It could be stored right here. Instead of having to stop at a store and buy those things, you'd already have it stocked and ready to go right here. This drinking fountain becomes very important when you use all of this exercise equipment and workout equipment right here. There's their own home gym right here. It even has the flooring that's needed that makes it so that it has that gym vibe. It also protects the concrete, but all of this equipment makes it so that in this area, you can have their own gym. Their son comes out here and works out on a regular basis. From a height standpoint, this is a really high building. It's 15 feet high at the highest point which makes it really fun to hang up some of the banners and flags of things that mean things to them, like some of their favorite sports teams, or the American flag, because they love their freedom, or the Arizona flag, because they grew up in Arizona. Any of these different flags or symbols that mean something to them, they're able to come in here and look, and this becomes more of an environment, more of a fun place for them to be. And with some of that height, they intend to build in some shelving into the metal framing, so they can store some things maybe like Christmas items or other things that you don't get to very often that they can get to easily if they need to, but it's up and out of the way. After the construction of this facility, they went back through and they sealed and made the floor, instead of it just being that ugly concrete floor, they sealed it with nice finish just to make it so it lasts and looks a lot better. This shop is filled with wonderful features specifically about wake boats. So let's take a second look. This is an amazing still constructed boat garage. And walking around the shop has given me some inspiration as to what I would want in a boat garage for myself. And I hope it's done the same for you. Here's another video you might like. Tap or click the screen here, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.